Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jesse Clark with Small Business Resources. Today is a how-to video on JotForm and specifically how to create subscriptions or recurring payments right inside of JotForm using different payment processors, but today I'm going to use PayPal, so getting right into it. We're in my dashboard here and you're going to see Create Form and I can just go start from scratch and the card form is where it will go from one page to another um, or you can just do a classic one page form so when you're in here you're going to just go over here to add form element you're going to click on payments and you can choose different um, payment processors but today I just want to go through I don't believe it's available in PayPal business because if you put this in here and you go over here to select um, or payment type you can see, click donations but you cannot have the option for subscriptions so let's delete that and let's try again PayPal uh, personal you do that then you will see that the subscriptions option is available okay so you'll have to go through in your payment processor and see if it is available so once you add that you'll just go over here to sell subscriptions and then you're going to put in your um, username for PayPal. That's all you need to do. So I'm going to just put mine in here. And you can do additional gateway um, settings. You can go in here and play around with those things, um, etc. Add your logo, whatever you want. But I'm just going to go to continue. And first thing I'm going to do is get created new subscription. So let's let's say we want to do this weekly, and I'm just going to go 25 bucks a week. Okay, put in a uh, description. You can go um, again here. You can choose how often you want this to your your client to be billed. So again, I'm just going to go weekly, and then number of payments. Um, user selected we're I'm going to show you what that looks like okay you can go to variable price okay the form requires a form calculation for that so I'm going to turn that off um, you can set custom first payment cost if you want to do like an initial design fee and then after that's recurring subscription you can do something like that I'm going to turn that off you can even give them a trial period okay for like three days um, which is pretty cool and then you can choose select this one uh, by by default so I'm gonna go ahead and click save and you can see here it is unlimited okay so let's go ahead and preview this and see what this will look like okay when you go to preview the form you can say fill out and submit your form to see how you can view and manage your form submissions without the dummy data um, this is just kind of a, a sandbox type thing so I'm just gonna close that okay so the reason it wasn't showing up is because I had this hidden so I just clicked on here and show instead so let's go back to preview so now you can see it's $25 for each week okay recurring payments for so this will be like for four weeks this is gonna recur uh, this payment is gonna happen okay so let's go back and um, adjust this again so let's say I want to go here um, no limit I'm going to save this and we will preview again so here it's just going to be weekly and it's going to go on forever until you actually cancel their subscription so again you can just create new um, subscriptions as many products or subscriptions as you want for your clients to choose you can also go in here to settings and this is kind of cool you can set up the way it looks so right now it's list view and let me get another one in there another subscription in there so you can see what it would look like so I'm just going to duplicate this a couple times now let's go in here um, to settings and I can go here's two column and then here is three columns so you can adjust the way it looks which is a really cool feature okay you can um, also do enable minimum order even order it uh, enable a search for your different products okay and of course in job form you can go in here and you can click on the form designer color styles uh, you can even go to the advanced designer but we're not getting in that today for this 
okay let's go back and you can also add coupons to this so you can go through add a coupon code um, discount rate percentage apply to first payment so it's really customizable on this so let's go ahead and save and there you can see a discount coupon code so this is a great new feature and if you're looking for a really if you already have a jot form or if you don't have a jot form go in there play around with this and it's a great way to um, set up reoccurring or subscription payments without having to go through a third party